Trial one, Bray Raceway Ballarat this afternoon. Combined two and three year olds over 2200 metres. Perfect condition, the track is in uh, great nick. Sun's out, very still conditions. And so we're about to get off and running with our first trial. Five runners, they're away. And best away from uh, the second barrier is Queen Treachery. And it goes straight to the lead from the uh, pole marker, uh, Cliffhanger. Dropping into third spot on the pegs is Champagne Delight, then easing out is uh, Arclow, and sitting wide, just going around that first turn, as the field settles, is Smile, say cheese. They settled down, uh, four of them in uh, single uh, file, and uh, we'll find them all on the pegs in just a moment. And quickly out of the, uh, the gate, and uh, finding the lead was uh, Queen Treachery, New Zealand bred uh, youngster. And it's about to be uh, taken on for the lead by Smile and Say Cheese. Looms up on the outside. What's the lead? Doesn't know whether it's quite going to get there right now. Still challenging, still pushing on, but it doesn't look like it's going to get there. It's going to get caught outside the leader. So as they go to the 1400 uh, metre mark, like now might find a spot on the back of the leader as the field just spreads out that little bit. And it's gone from first to second on the pegs. And in front, it's Queen Treachery. It leads from Smile and Say Cheese. And then we go back to uh, Cliffhanger, followed by uh, Champagne Delight. And in the uh, fifth of the, uh, the Five Brothers is Arclo. Again, the bell. second from Cliffhanger, then comes uh, Champagne Delight, and waiting at the back is Arclow. They go to the 600 metre mark, the first one to come off the pegs is uh, Smile and Say Cheese. Just drops off the uh, pegs, but uh, in fact it's losing ground now on the outside, and the leader just kicks away a little bit there, and it's Queen Treachery that gets opens up a 10 metre lead from uh, Cliffhanger, who's chasing hard. And that second group of four are pretty well packed, but the leader's way out in front. Found the lead early, and uh, it stretched that advantage probably to about 10, 15 metres as they straighten up. Just getting tapped up to keep its mind on the job. But it's going to go to the line, comfortably kick clear after leading all the way. And it's Queen Treachery that gets the uh, beating. Only by about two metres on the line, which is fast finishing uh, Champagne the light.